Hey everybody, welcome to Cud Buds with me, Galen, the last standing Cud Bud. <laughs> you don't know. The there, first there and last. A, there might be a bunch of other Cud Buds in the basement. Well, until that day that they are revealed and the true horrors you're afflicting upon them. Horrors or? Like this mandatory horrors. Horrors. Horrors or jorrors. Horses. Horses. I'm going to give it one more, one more go. Yeah, so I, yeah, we, we, uh, we're he headed to Hamel Crab at the base of uh, Asphalt Mines, and it's a trek, and it's not a fun trek, and it's time consuming, and if you, um, apparently, I I've never seen this before, but apparently you can just lose, uh, lose Cathedra, it can be, it, it is prone to being destroyed by lava, and we don't want that, so... Um, executive decision we decided, or I decided, that we were not going to tolerate the loss of our cathedra. Yeah, so that's it. <clears throat> we are oh on our way down again. Whipping crabs, 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 crabs. It's membrane crabs. Crab. We are also. Sure my face is okay. We are. Uh, we are also joined today by my cat. Wow. Wow. That's it. You're hanging out. No, I don't want to walk in the lava. But what if you don't know? You, <laughs> you don't okay. know. Maybe. Rocket jump. Rocket jump. Jump us through the air. Far away we jump through the air. Shoot in pigs. Shoot in crabs. Shoot in apes. I really, I really am not even like injecting commentary in this because I don't want most of us to make the cut. We. I mean, there's that. There is wheat, you know? Shoot in pigs. I mean, you can just pause and do a, a two hours later cut. We could. You know, there might be the occasional. Th well, what are your thoughts on Tim Burton? He is uh, extremely overrated. And I don't know that he's... I wouldn't call him talentless, but he certainly... Um, I don't know if they've made him do this, but like... Maybe it's all. Maybe it's all they'll let him do is just is just to do a Tim, do it, do another Tim Burton. Do another no? Tim Burton. Can you please make another Burton-esque movie? He does. Oh, seem so to... someone once told me something I drew was Burton-esque, and I slapped them. Did you? Mm, emotionally, I did. <laughs> emotionally, I attacked them. Physically, I I did nothing. The dam the damage lasts longer. The emotional. Um, he should get like no credit for Nightmare Before Christmas. That's an interesting take. Do you want to expand on that so that it, people don't put angry comments in the in the comments? <laughs> it he didn't direct it. He didn't make the best part, which I think is the music, followed by like stop motion animation. That wasn't Danny Elfman, was it? It was 100% Danny Elfman. Well, Danny Elfman, I I've uh, spoken previously, at least to friends, about my uh, appreciation of Danny Elfman and. Um, he, like Tim Burton, gets kind of like, oh, yeah, I mean, all Danny Elfman music is the same, or, like, all Tim Burton is the same, and I kind of hard disagree. I think that Danny Elfman has a style, for sure, but I always enjoy hearing Danny Elfman music. Danny Elfman has a, a wide friggin' uh, plethora of, of music under his belt, and it's not just, just because he's well-known for doing the same thing for Tim Burton, which is because... That's the kind of music that goes with Tim Burton because yeah. he does the same thing every time. Yeah, I mean, um, that's the kind of music that goes with you know, skinny goths and spirals. <laughs> skinny goths and spirals, and uh, and uh, uh, Johnny Depp. And Johnny Depp. Specifically, Johnny Depp is only good with Danny Elfman in the background. You know. Um, Am I on fire? I don't have. You're not Man, lava okay. covered, which is the important part. No, that's fine. I, I have no strong opinions about uh, Tim Burton. I, I feel like um, I feel like Nightmare Before Christmas, it, it must be said, is overrated. But also it is a very, very good movie. Like No, it's 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 a very good movie that Tim Burton should get no credit for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, it I should guess be I... Henry Selick's and Danny Elkman's Nightmare Before Christmas with concept art from... Tim Burton. Um, I, I suppose I like I om, I'm only like speaking of Nightmare Before. We're not gonna do the bit where I make you save that book again. By the way, I like I I I feel like Nightmare Before Christmas became a lot of people's personality, 
and that is a little bit off-putting because it it is a very good movie but like calm down you know like um that, that is just like any any i guess that's like any uh fan base can just become very overwhelming um but like i in terms of tim burton i mean i've liked some of his movies and not others i've liked some of his movie too but uh definitely like real juice was great and did he direct there's a good one? team behind it did direct that one did um he, he did uh he did the big fish that was interesting and good big fish i think it was kind of an underachiever to be honest i i was in my mind the the best tim burton movies are the ones that aren't very tim burton yeah no i agree i i think that uh my my hot take is i think corpse bride is actually just kind of dog shit i'm sorry i i have to say it in those terms because i think that like i, I have to i have to be like aggressively anti that movie because the weird like fanfare for that movie is like you're just remembering nightmare before christmas like you wanted this to be a successor to nightmare before christmas but it is an underachiever in every possible sense it's such a nothing of a movie like it, it is so not good it's it's just fine it's just fine but like it's it's style just feels like it's kind of like piggy banking but it's not really contributing much um it's like themes and that overall like story it just feel like so so derivative like th there's nothing interesting about that to me i haven't seen uh franken wiener because that Frank and franken wiener i feel like there was a cutoff for me i was like i've had enough tim burton i'm good um so i'm with you it's on fine that. i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna watch frank and weenie watch the original live action short which is better is it better i didn't even yeah. know there was a short yeah well because he wanted you wanted fan. he wanted to make that movie so he made they let him make a short which is fine and good compared to yeah i'm gonna rocket jump now here we go we so now that we've alienated uh most of my remaining uh viewership <laughs> uh what, what what's your thoughts on the uh, on his tim burton's willy wonka charlie charlie and the chocolate um just the singular chocolate no factory it had its good points it had its tim burton points you know it's like uh he got some things right that the original didn't do because it doesn't make sense to do it uh i i can't think the timothy chalamet one that's coming out will be any good oh yeah i forgot about that based based on trailers that's a really weird one because I know that um, there's a there's some weird kind of controversies happening around that because of the uh, choice of cast to put it genteely, and I kind of get it. Um, it's a really weird thing, and I know that there, a lot of people have like I probably shouldn't you, like this is not space to be talking about this, but it, I really like I it, 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 I see it and I can't not think about it. Um, but like concerning you know the hiring of uh of, like small people i'm i'm not i'm not sure what the the new what, what's our term terminology now and i'm not saying that in a derisive sense as far as i know there, there's still little people but it depends on people. who you ask um if if there's anyone uh, to you know feel free to correct me i i don't mean to be like using the wrong terms here i should probably just look but depending on who you ask it's going to be uh difficult either way but in, anyway like the 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 recent thing is like you know what jobs that are offered to little people are when they're handed off to basically like big name stars where they just use cgi to make them small um it seems kind of like really unfair it's like that's the that is the work we we kind of all agreed that that was the work that we were gonna get you know like when you do a remake of snow white and the seven dwarves uh it, it's kind of expected that you're gonna hire some dwarves you know but at the same time at the same time when you make a movie when all of the only work that a, a small person can get is to be a mystical dwarf you know in in a fantasy movie it's also kind of frustrating and people don't understand they don't have any empathy for someone who's frustrated with both both of those things like two things can be frustrating you know like getting work and also not getting work can both be frustrating people don't really have a lot of empathy but that's a you know besides the all of that um isn't it uh what's his name cumberbatch you is no, it it's Hugh Grant. It's Hugh Grant. I have mixed opinions. Wrong, wrong British person. Yeah, I, I have mixed feelings about Hugh Grant. 
I he, mean, he's okay. The thing about Oompa Loompas is they're, they're technically they're they're supposed to be pygmy uh, people from Africa and wickedly racist. Like, hey, come work for nothing in my factory. Wink. Yeah, yeah, come work for chocolate. Bring your bring your grass skirt and come work in my factory. They're not even they're not even working for cheap wages. They're literally working for chocolate. I don't think they're working. I think they're. I I think. Again, it's been a while since I've read the original book, but I think he's like, hey, you're being killed by these big birds. Come live in my factory and work for me. Yeah. Here's your smallpox blanket. This is where, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, people get like up in arms about um, changing stories. And I personally don't think that there's anything wrong with changing or up updating a story if the thing that they used to do was like kind of horribly offensive, even at, at the time. All right, here's our here's our trouble spot. We're back. Uh, I I, per, I personally consider myself like an aggressive oh. aggressively empathetic. Like if someone's telling you that something offends them, then listen to them and make changes. You know, don't don't be uh, a little pissant about it. Tbh. All right, good moves, good moves. I liked. I appreciated all of that. I have no idea. It, like I, I actually think that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory should just stay in the past. I think we it's do, it's done. You know, it's good. We did it. There's there's some some very good essays on the YouTubes about if they're going to make it, they should make it this way and not what they've pro again, the movie's not out yet and maybe the trailers are very misleading. Yeah. Maybe it will actually be the perfect satire on fucking British capitalism as it should be. Yeah. But it probably won't be. I'm going to go down these stairs now. All right. Mm, lava. Okay. So the stairs are filled with lava. Okay, spiral borer time. Uh, we're gonna have to kill that crab. Maybe, maybe you Fine. can just walk away. Yeah, you're right. Just walk away. Here's okay. I have an idea. Ooh, here's a good idea. Tell me. Uh, there's a, a thin layer of wall that goes around that frames each screen. Why don't we dig yeah. into that wall a little bit and then put a spiral borer behind that layer, and that way we don't have up, to deal with the lava. Up here. Yeah. Like we're just gonna dig it a little bit in there, and that the crab is making its way over to you. Oh, I love lava crabs. Um, I just think they're one of the coolest looking tile in the game. They're one of the very few animated tiles in the game. Um, and they're also, I think, the only tile that breaks the rule of. Can I can I menacing stare him? You could try. I feel like stunning force would be better in this case. You can you can definitely try. He became it comes afraid. Free... Okay, that's that's pretty good. So he's going to run away from me? Is that... Uh, temporarily. This is a very temporary thing that you've done. No, he did not. Uh, oh, we're really okay. walking into okay. a corner here. Okay. Yeah, you want to rocket jump over that. No, 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 no. I gotta, I gotta... Mm. Do that, and do that, and do that. I, I think you really want to rocket jump over that. You're gonna, you're gonna get cornered here. You're all, you're already pretty cornered. I mean, you could just try fighting him, but the problem is, is that he bleeds lava. Can you slam him? Well, I mean, I guess we tried that and it didn't really work last time. Oh, nope. they're stunned. Stunned though. Try, try it. Go to town. Nope. Never mind. We walked around him. That that was good too. They are injured. Nice. Great. Okay. Cool. High five, my boys. Slap, slap, slap. Hello, boys. I um, I do catch some shit for saying that I I liked uh the the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from Tim Burton, but that you've already covered why. Like I I think that it. It, did, it was a more accurate version of the books in some ways. And then it also contributed new things, which I actually thought were pretty good. Like they, they actually added a bit of depth to uh, Willy Wonka's character that previously did not exist. He was, he's basically just, you know, magic man, <laughs> you know, he's just magic man. He's weird and wacky and he, and he's uh, eccentric, which is fine. But like when you, when you adapt that to a movie, it's like, what, what, what is that? What is their character? There isn't really one. So we have to mod our hat again. Do we? Is it not? It's not modded at all. Oh, that's actually that works out to our benefit because it's not. Right, it's so not willowy make anymore. Make it willowy. Make it. <laughs> I swear to God. And that was it, right? You wanted to save the rest for later. Uh, e well. We don't need scaled. Yeah. We don't need it. We can make it two faced. Was what I was saying. I thought you didn't like the second face slot. The only reason I don't like the second face slot is because it halves the AV, but because it's your Kessel face has no AV, um, it really just kind of leaves us open, uh, our options open for equipping something else. So like, 
for example, we could put on night vision goggles on our second face slot, and then we can play with the idea of not having a face cybernetic. Like we could change our face cybernetic, right? I'm going to think about that. I'm not going to commit. Okay. I am going to put on this woolly hat though. Okay. Or we're going to be seeing a lot of crabs, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll keep the confusion burst for now. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's... All right. I'm hoping this works. It. it probably... There is probably going to be some kind of uh, weird catch. Uh, okay. Let's see. Nice. That works out I really well. I think you've done it. I've I have cracked the code. Oh, wow. Oh, there's, this one's open. There's a little bit of pocket. There's a little, little pocket here. Oh, this is fantastic. I had no idea how well this was going to work. Well, I know when I can't go any further uh yeah you just passed it we want to go up oh, so now. Just go up yeah once you get past a certain point it just becomes caves normal caves uh oh okay we're fine look at that there's even a convenient little oh god no <laughs> uh, okay can we jump like from here over that pool mm, no not without stepping right into that crab i can't see it all right can i confuse him try confusing him right i'm still summoning a decoy okay you they are confused okay run oh 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 oh! shoot go upstairs actually go upstairs i'm not kidding we need to do something i'm sorry i'm sorry i i i missed something critical here okay here um see if you can cook a campfire okay we need to we need to jesse yeah. jesse it's too hostile no jesse it's an ant it's an oh. ant can i do it yes it will okay we are cooking our uh, love recipe no 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 Cook from recipe. Pretty sure we already have this. When, yeah, uh, Bevant Man Salty Latkes and a Love Dolma. Yep. Okay, perfect. All right. Now Ooh, now we can bat's, go down. My bat's not going to love me anymore. That, your bat is proselytized. It's not beguiled. Oh, not beguiled. It's a different It's a different thing. And uh, you, can, you can have both a proselytized creature and a beguiled creature. I think we could... Can What's we, my like, goal? Where's my goal? Uh, probably southeast. Do you want to take off my rings, put on my thing, use my mind to see where I'm going? That's not a bad idea. Okay, buttons. <laughs> uh, the easiest way is to just unequip. Yep. Oh, that uh, nuclear cell is almost spent. Yeah, it cut so many dang crabs apart. Okay. Oh, we're already being watched? Oh, that's right. We still have the confusion helmet on. Yeah, do like, no, a little bit more east. I guess you can, you want to see where you're going and not like... I want to see where I'm going. I'm okay, going to do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You know what? Um, What if we walked back and then try and broke an alternate route exit? I think you should be good for now. Lava crabs are busy with your hologram. If only we had a nano pneumatic jackhammer. Don't even. It's amazing to me how often it's come up in this run. Okay, one more. I fully expect that uh, we'll have to navigate around those crabs anyway. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to have to make a mad dash here. Fighting all these crabs is not tenable. Where am I going? You're going east. You got to just find a way around all this lava and crabs. Uh, I had clairvoyance to the east so you know where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's so my goal. You see that uh, toasty crab, the yellow one? Mm -hmm. That's our, that's okay. our merchant. We do have a uh, rocket skate, so it might make things easier or harder. You know, one of those. Distract all the boys. We also have movement speed on our on our side. Make camp. Do it. I don't. OK, that's fine. Run. You said mad dash, so I'm doing a mad dash. Oh, I just don't know when the, the rocket jump might have been more useful later. I would uh, say let's go through the gas because the gas won't hurt us is like too badly and the um and an enemy crab there will be less will be hesitant to walk through it or i mean there's that as well that's a, a pretty good idea making very good use of those holograms i gotta say okay there's a, a little diagonal route through that okay we're gonna i'm green i'm fine you're good oh. we are doing this seems like camel crab is not an enemy which I thought they were, because I thought they were part of the crab faction. But this is good, because that means we don't have to beguile them. We can still, if you don't want to buy their stuff, but I don't think their stuff will be all that expensive. Rock is croaking. Rock is... All right, so we definitely want that gigantic quartz fur hat. We definitely want the gigantic light skating lens. Um, Nullworm skull isn't bad either. I know we're, that's just so we have an option. It's um, two hats. I know, I know. Um, 
definitely grab the gloves. I don't even know if we're going to have hands as a bet, but, you know, better to be safe than sorry. And I think we should grab that gigantic weird artifact. You know what? Um, go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and beguile them. Eat a mushroom and beguile them, so we don't have to deal with the uh, price of of that stuff. Okay. You'll want the horse shroom, which is gonna be Aye. it's gonna be blue. There it okay. is. There it is. Eat and then east pop. All right. Now we uh, you're gonna want to look at them and then chat trade. And honestly, here's what here's the easy play. Grab it all. Just like take all offer. You'll be over encumbered. But what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna recoil right. out. Yeah, it's the same. We're just but tell him to stay there before you do that because he'll come with you i guess that's not a bad thing but you know we don't need him all right now we recoil and hopefully it'll let you because i don't see any hostiles nearby we're gonna we're go going? To, we're going to grit gate there we go oh no you're wrong there we don't go you're wrong i can't move uh we are close to 300 pounds overweight mm -hmm. um what are we gonna do about that i honestly don't know who's hostile you know what? Uh, okay, let's just wait a few turns. T tell the Hamel crab not to wait anymore. Not tell him to move. Yeah, come. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, sorry. Tell him to come along. Is what I meant. Sorry. All right. Now wait a few turns. Because you notice the Dromad caravan. They're actually followers of Hamel crab. So they're gonna go and fight whatever is hostile. And I'm hoping that they can take it out. I'm hoping that Hamel crab. Ooh, is... I'm also getting XP for it. Oh, nice. Try. Uh, try. You could try recoiling now. And don't worry if yeah. Hamel crab comes with you. All right. It's not a it's not a big deal. All right. Great gate. We've Perfect. done it. Nice. We brought them all. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Hey everyone. This uh, is better for commerce for you anyway, I would think. Hamel crab does not restock, just so you know. I stand by my statement. Yeah, I mean the drum had oh I see their commerce. Yeah, we're still encumbered. Um let's let's go through it. Let's go through it real quick. Um Ooh, what that artifact is. Yeah. What? What? Gloves. What? What are these? They said Leyline Puppeteers. I have no idea what those are. I'm puzzled. I gotta eat a banana or something. Uh, I mean, you can keep trying if you want, but yeah, you could just cook a meal. The problem is, is that you're not in a good position to do so. 52 pounds. I'm very interested in what these are. There you oh. go. Leyline Puppeteers. I have, I've never seen those, period. One dram of neutron flux to function. Very tiny Plus chance. Plus 10 psychic glimmer. 30 quickness. Temporal fugue. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is incredible. Those Disassemble. Action psychic. Congratulations for that. Thank you. Um, I really hope we can wear those. Because, Us? well, the, the golem. I hope the right. golem has hands to, for which we can wear those. Because we we've kind of gone for a mental mutation build so uh if you have those and you have temporal fugue your ego bonus is going to increase your temporal fugue um that is possibly one of the best items you could have gotten period i i have i i'm i am flabbergasted um okay well let's let's drop let's drop everything drop drop all of the gigantic stuff because the thing is, is that once you are piloting the golem, you're going to have to pick them up again as the golem. Okay. So we, uh, yeah, we, we can just drop all of that. Oh, I think I put some on. Uh, oh, I did. What did you put on? Oh, the wearing... gigantic ape fur gloves. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I way. do have big hands. You do have, you are wielding a very large hand. And you also do have big hands, don't you? I do. I didn't even think of that. I could wear those big gloves. Uh, you also got, by the way, three gigantic missile weapons, and some of them are actually amazing. Like, you got a spacer rifle, um, though you already are going to have, like, a really good range weapon. You don't really need any missile weapons, but having them is a nice option. Um, you'll want to drop them also. They're, wow, you have 182 pounds of missile weapons. Oh god, those are weighty. Holy crap. Good lord. Oh, we can walk now. You'd say I'd drop it anyway. There you go. All right. Uh, tell Hamel Crab to stay there. I think he's he's already maybe. Guard my stuff, Crab. And then we'll go downstairs. Glad you brought your boys. It'd be sad if he was here all by himself. You know. Well, he's got the Barathermites to keep him company. Honestly, he's got he more company now in. than ever. That's not the point. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's been three days. Is the only thing. No, it hasn't been three days. We can maybe ask how long has it been. Later. One day. 
be back one day okay all right well that's gonna do it for our episode that was quite the trial um but we did it and it was worth it wouldn't you say wouldn't you say it was worth it galen i don't know what any of this means yet oh okay i mean in theory it sounds great love big things hope my bat has hands oh my bat has hands uh if you are enjoying this series definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more of this and uh you know let us know what your favorite tim burton movie is in the comments tell me i'm wrong tell me that he's just not a pretentious version of neil gaiman less writing talent <laughs> amazing what a, what a note to leave on we'll see you guys next time bye